Here we have two lines. It's hard to sort of tell uh, if they're parallel or not from my drawing, but you can look at the graph and see they could be uh, parallel. Uh, how we need to figure this out is just to find the slope of each graph uh, algebraically and then see if those slopes are exactly the same, then they are parallel. So let's do this formally. Uh, we have this line, it's the red line in that picture there, and the blue line here. Okay, so we want to use these two points to find the slope here. We have m red, and that's going to be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So this point is 2, negative 1, and this point is negative 1, sorry, negative 2 and 4. Looks to be. Okay. So y2 here is going to be our negative 1. Minus y1 here is 4. x2 here is 2. Minus x1 here is negative 2. So this gives us negative 5 over 2. Minus negative 2 is 4, so negative 5 fourths. Great. Uh, now, we just need to find the slope of the blue line and see if it's exactly the same or not. So in this case, we have the origin, 0, 0, and the uh, point negative 3 and 3, looks to be. It's actually 3.5, if you look a little more carefully. My apologies. 3.5. So we need to plug this in and see what slope we get here. Again, same basic formula. Y2, we'll say, is uh, 0. Minus y1 is 3.5. And 0 is x2 minus negative 3. So minus negative 3. So again, we get a negative number. And then this just gives us 3 on the bottom. So we have negative 3.5 over 3, which comes out to be about uh, 1.6. It's exactly 1.6 repeating. Uh, and it's negative. This one, if you work it out as a fraction, it's 5 quarters, or negative 1.25. So we can see that these are very close. They're both negative. They're both about uh, close to 1 and a half, something like that, but they're not the same. They have to be exactly the same to be parallel. At some point, they will cross. They're not parallel. 